Welcome to this tutorial where we would review how to receive and specify specific goods in transit order while receiving the items from the warehouse management mobile application. This feature was introduced to enable the users to select a specific goods in transit order while receiving the items from the warehouse management mobile application when multiple goods in transit order exist for the same voyage container item number and purchase order number before this feature if an item is in the same voyage shipping container and the same purchase order then multiple goods in transit orders will be created however while receiving the item the warehouse management mobile application by default will show the first goods in transit order for receiving in this case, the user cannot select a specific goods in transit order for receiving, which becomes a challenge, especially for the order lines where the tracking dimensions like batches or serial numbers are specified on the purchase order line level. However, right now, when this feature is enabled, then the user can pick a specific goods in transit order for receiving. This feature is managed by the Feature Management Workspace and it's available since application version 10.0.35. First, I'll navigate to the Feature Management Workspace and ensure that they specify goods in transit order when receiving via mobile device feature is enabled. Moving to the voyage here, I've created a voyage of two purchase orders, 50 and 51. Looking at the voyage lines here, we can see that we have three lines for this item, 10121. Two lines are located in purchase order 50 and single line that is located in purchase order 51. And we have a single line for item 10122 that is located in purchase order 51. Looking at the goods in transit orders, here we have four goods in transit orders. Let's move to the warehouse management mobile application to receive these orders. I'm going to use the goods in transit receiving menu item and first we have to enter the voyage number. We can specify the voyage number either manually or by scanning the voyage barcode if it's applicable or by using uh, a detour to look up the voyage ID. In this example, I'm going to enter the voyage number manually. Then we have to specify or enter the shipping container. The same as the voyage, we can enter the shipping container ID manually or by scanning a barcode or by using a detour. Here in our example, we can see that we have a single shipping container that contains all the voyage lines. I'm going to use this shipping container. Then here we have to scan the item that we're going to receive. I'll start first by this item. 10122 and since this item is located in a single purchase order and have a single goods in transit order so here we can see the warehouse management mobile application automatically identified the related goods in transit order let's try another example for the second item 10121 and when it comes to scan or to receive an item that is located in several goods in transit orders then we have to specify first the purchase order number here i'm gonna receive first this purchase order and here we can see that we have two voyage lines for the same item in this purchase order purchase order number 50 so i'll enter here the purchase order number and here we can see a pop-up that appears to scan to specify the goods in transit order that you're gonna receive so i'll select this one 47 then we have to specify the quantity one then i'll click enter to receive this goods in transit order if i scan the item once again one zero one two one since we only have a remaining single goods in transit order for this purchase order so we can see the system automatically identified the remaining goods in transit order.